sailing into Weestram is really easy. It's a wide channel. There's room for your boat plus a Brittany Ferries um, ship going in and out. Um, and it's well marked and well buoyed. Weestram is absolutely an all-weather port. You can get in there day or night in any weather at any state of the tide. It's located on the um, eastern corner of the Normandy Bay, if you like, um, and about 17 miles from La Havre or 40 miles from, say, Saint Vast or uh, possibly Grand Combezi. Weestram is really the port for Caen, which is the major city uh, at the end of the canal. Um, Weestram's claim to fame, I think, really are the two locks and the marina is really there to service Caen. Uh, Weestram itself is a relatively, is a relatively small town. Uh, the canal from Weestram up to Caen is about eight miles long and passes under um, several road bridges which lift up for you uh, as you arrive. Um, the most famous of which is Pegasus Bridge which featured uh, quite largely in that absolutely brilliant film called The Longest Day by Richard Attenborough and was attacked um, at the beginning of the D-Day landings um, by British, um, British infantry who came in on gliders um, led um, in the movie by uh, Richard Todd um, who um, actually in real life was a junior officer on that actual raid um, at D-Day. Um, when, when he was approached to um, play his part in the film he said well actually I'd rather not because I played a very small part in the reality and I'd rather play a larger part in the movie. So um, not a lot of people know that uh, but you do now. Um, so uh, passing going up the canal passing Pegasus Bridge is a good experience yeah it's uh, the last time I did it there was a tank um, fixed there as a memorial and even today there is certainly a very good museum which um, I haven't actually visited it but I gather is um, is an excellent museum to that attack on the bridge by um, our light infantry um, in their gliders Having passed up, um, having passed Pegasus Bridge, you carry up the uh, canal into the marina at Caen, um, which is in the it's in the middle of the town, so it's very nice. Um, on the north side of the marina, there are um, restaurants and bars and things like that. To be fair, Caen was pretty badly destroyed during uh, D-Day and during World War Two, so um, it is all the buildings are modern and it is a modern city but um, nonetheless um, the, the, there's a sort of market of some weekends around the marina area which is enjoyable um, and I've enjoyed my visit there I've been there a couple of times and I thought it was a worthwhile visit and I thought if you're going as far as East Tram and you've got the time absolutely worthwhile the uh, trip up to Caen. When you're heading from the sea towards East Tram uh, which is a port of refuge. It's one of the few ports other than La Havre that you can get into at any state of the tide, in any weather, in day or night, you can get into Caen, despite the lock. Because outside there is an excellent waiting pontoon, um, which is uh, which you just uh, drive up to and park up. You'll probably have to raft up, um, as I do here, uh, but it's not a problem because all the other boats are waiting for the canals and people are very friendly and helpful. So you um, get into the exterior of Weiss Tram you're rafted up and you sit there waiting for the traffic lights on the um, on the lock to change from red to red to green white green or possibly three greens at which point everybody casts off from the pontoon and you start milling about waiting for the lock gates to open and entering into into the lock the lock is 
there are two act, two locks actually. Uh, there's one far off to starboard, which is a big ship lock and is used by the merchant ships for which are supplying Caen. And there's this lock to port, which is much smaller and is used pretty exclusively for pleasure craft. It's fairly simple if there are two of you on board. The the um, parking up arrangement, if you're alongside the wall, is that they've got these um, galvanized steel cables running from the top of the wall down to some sort of fixation underwater at the, uh, at the base. And the idea is that you loop your uh, warps uh, fore and aft around these cables. Um, I tried doing it midships first of all on Golden Haze and it didn't really work. I couldn't make it secure enough so I had to cast that off and I did um, yeah, one, one warp on the stern and one warp on the bows. It is a bit, if you're single-handed it's a bit tricky um, but if, if there's a couple it's, it's absolutely no problem at all. The only issue I found was that uh, I came in sort of on a spring tide near the top and there wasn't much space to get my um, warps underneath, behind the galvanized cables, um, just below the uh, just below the top of the wall, which has a bit jutting out. So, so that was a bit of an issue. It was a bit of a problem. But I think, but I think normally for most people, if it's a properly crew boat, it isn't really an issue. Um, so you go down, uh, water goes up or goes down, whatever it is, it's a situation. You come out of the lock and um, straight ahead on the left hand side is the entrance into the uh, Port de Plaisance, into the um, marina. You go straight ahead and there marked up with a big sign is Visitor's Pontoon and you park up on the Visitor's Pontoon on the far side from where you went in. Probably again you'll have to raft up but all the French people who are there are absolutely totally used to people doing that so you just raft up there. Um, plug in your electricity, go ashore and walk back away from the thing towards the middle part of the marina um, across a little bridge um, and there's a building ahead of you. Go up the outside stairs of the building and into the office and check in. If you decide to do the trip up the canal to Caen, then um, it's that office that you need to go to in order to find out what time it is that you can do that trip. In order to, because uh, they they run a sort of um, they run a sort of convoy system. Uh, because there are several road bridges that have to open, they want to do it for several yachts together or for a big ship with yachts together at the same time. Um, and the same thing applies at the uh, marina at the con end of it. You need to check with them what time you can go back down the canal to Weestram um, in whatever convoy is going. Weestram Marina is actually a little bit isolated. Um, there's not much going on around there. Um, it's it's an ice. It's a marina that was created, I think, for. Um, pleasure boats from people in Caen or possibly in Wiestram itself, but Wiestram is a relatively small place. There is a little sort of cafe bar construction uh, just beside the visitor's pontoon where you can get a coffee or a beer or a glass of wine or something, but it's, it's not open all the time, it's not open that frequently. Uh, so if you want to have a meal, you really need to um, walk down the road towards the lock go across the pedestrian footway across the two locks uh, and you come to a roundabout on the outside of on the outskirts of Weestram and straight across that roundabout there are a couple of restaurants and a bar and so on. Weestram is a great place to leave your boat if you want to go back to the UK because of the Brittany Ferry service that um, goes into the port there. Um, if you decide to do that, again, you just walk up the road, cross the locks, um, hang a right, and 10 minutes walk is um, the terminal, the Brittany Ferries terminal to buy your tickets. 
Um, it, Wiesham's a good place to leave the boat, in fact, uh, if you want to return to the UK for a while. Um, it might even be a good place to locate your boat with the uh, ferry service. There is a fuel dock in Wiestram. Um, unfortunately, it's on the marina side of the um, of the area, so uh, you have to go through the locks in order to get to the fuel dock, which is on the left-hand side immediately uh, as you come out of the lock. Alternatively, if you come out of the um, visitor's berth, cross the marina, uh, exit into the canal, turn right, and there immediately on your right is the um, DIY fuel 24-7. Uh, um, it is like all French fuel berths um, that I've visited. Um, you park up, um, you park up there, um, put your uh, put your credit card into the machine, select English, select diesel, and um, pour it into uh, into your boat. Um, it works fine. When you decide to leave Wiestram, either for Love, which is 17 miles away, which as I say is the place to uh, um, start as your stepping stone into the French canals to get the tide there, to go up the River Seine, to Rouen where you're going to take down your mast, or you're heading in the other direction, there's uh, Corset which is uh, the first port on the left, it's about 10 miles, 10-12 uh, miles along and is a proper marina very popular with French yachts um, they go in there tidal again so you have to get the tide right in order to get in there or you can do what I did last time which is I went from Wiestram to Grand Con Maisie and I found that the tidal span because it took because it's about 30 miles 40 miles um, the tides worked perfectly for me to come out of Wiestram at 8 o'clock in the morning and I got to Grand Con Maisie um, just as the tide was rising two and a half hours, two hours before uh, high water at Grand Con Maisie. Um, or the Saint Vast. Um, it's that Normandy uh, coast with its three or four absolutely delightful marinas, fishing ports, whatever, is an absolute joy to uh, absolute joy to cruise, and I I thoroughly recommend it. Um, if you're heading for the canals, as I say. Love is uh, just across the big ship parking area, which is quite fun to um, go between all these anchored ships waiting to go into Love Harbour um, and on into the canals. I hope this video has been of some help to you. Um, if it has, please uh, press the um, subscribe button because that will help make my um, channel more popular and therefore more aware and more people will visit and look at these pilotage videos which uh, I hope you found helpful but whether you press the button or not um, I hope you have a lovely time cruising the northern French um, ports I've really um, I've really enjoyed my last visit to them and it's a it's a great cruising ground so fair winds safe landfalls and maybe I'll see you in the next video bye